Active Directory Federation Services, how-to video series, updating certificates. My name is Joe Yoshima, Senior Support Escalation Engineer on the Windows Identity Team. In this video, we'll discuss the purpose and requirements of each certificate used by ADFS. We'll also demonstrate how to replace each certificate in ADFS for Windows Server 2012 R2. In order to repeat this demo, you'll need an existing ADFS farm running on Windows Server 2012 R2. There are four certificates used by ADFS. The first is the token signing certificate. This is used to digitally sign security tokens issued by ADFS. This can be self-signed and is automatically generated by default. Next is the token decrypting certificate. This is used to decrypt security tokens that are received by ADFS. This can be self-signed and is automatically generated by default as well. The next certificate is the service communication certificate. This is a server authentication certificate that is used for Windows Communication Foundation message security. It must be trusted and signed by a trusted CA. And in a production environment, you're gonna want that a third party trusted CA. Finally, we have the Secure Sockets Layer or SSL certificate. This is used to secure web traffic with clients and proxy servers. It must be issued and signed by a trusted CA. And in production environments, you're gonna want that to be a third party CA. If you are going to use the device registration service to support workplace join, you may need to use subject alternative names or wild cards to support that. By default, the SSL and service communication certificates are one and the same. This can cause a little bit of confusion when you're updating this certificate. They both serve different purposes, but there is no actual requirement to have separate certificates for this. Let's start off by looking at the existing certificates in the ADFS Management Console. We can do so by clicking on the Certificates folder. Here we can see the Service Communication Certificate, the Token Decrypting Certificate, and the Token Signing Certificate. If we want to manually update the Token Signing Certificate, we can click on this link that says Add Token Signing Certificate. ADFS will throw a warning that we cannot do this while Automatic Certificate Rollover is enabled. It also gives us the PowerShell command in order to disable it. Once this is disabled, we click the link again, and we'll be presented with the option of choosing our certificate. ADFS will let us know that the private key needs to be accessible for the service account. Here we can see both certificates listed. The reason why it doesn't automatically promote this other certificate is that it gives us time to let our relying parties know that the new certificate will be used in the future. Once all relying parties have been notified, we can go ahead and promote the token signing certificate. This is done by right-clicking the certificate and choosing Set as Primary. To update the token decrypting certificate, the process is the same. This only needs to be done once for your ADFS farm. To update the Service Communication Certificate, we click on the Set Service Communication Certificate link. We will be prompted for which certificate we would like to use. Then ADFS will warn us that the private key needs to be accessible for the service account. We can see that the certificate is updated immediately in the console. We do not need to delay because no relying parties need to know what the Service Communication Certificate is. In order to update the SSL certificate, we have to use the set ADFS SSL certificate PowerShell commandlet. This is set ADFS SSL certificate dash thumbprint and the thumbprint of the certificate we want to use. This needs to be done on all nodes in the farm. If your environment uses the web application proxy to extend ADFS to the internet, you will need to update the SSL certificate there as well. Once the certificate is installed in the local computer store, you need to run a PowerShell command in order to update it. This looks like set web application proxy SSL certificate dash thumbprint and then the thumbprint of the certificate. In this video, you learn the purpose and requirements for each certificate used by ADFS. You also learn how to replace each certificate in ADFS for Windows Server 2012 R2. Moving forward, you can try replacing various certificates in your ADFS lab, and you can watch additional videos in the how-to video series. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.